Okay, so I got the power supply here. It's a Turbo Link. Never heard of it. Turbo Link ATX switching power supply. Uh, it has uh, two, 420 watts of power. However, the problem with the power supply was that the fan, which is here, was really loud and rattling. Um, there's probably some issue with the impeller here. So anyway, it's pretty loud, so I had to cut it out. Okay, so here's the two cables there cut out. And what I'm going to do is install an older, well, it's an old fan, but it's quiet. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next is solder that in and then install the fan. Okay, so I've soldered the leads there, two solders, uh, just two joints there. What I'm going to do is take my hot glue gun and what I do there is just simply cover the leads with the hot glue gun. And I'll just show you what I do. I'll just make sure I cover on all sides. You could just use a simple heat shrink tubing on top, but I find this works really well. There you go. So uh, this happened to be an 80 millimeter fan that I had to replace. So those are the solder areas and the hot glue gun uh, closures. This is a three pin fan so I just used the uh, red and the black uh, just to hook up to the power supply and now it's just time to screw the fan in. So the fan actually just fits in like this. I just have to pop it in now. It's uh, any, well, I like to say any 80 millimeter fan will do that. Alright, moment of truth. I have installed the new power, well, the power supply with the new fan and let's see if it works. Well, obviously I wouldn't be filming if it didn't work, but anyway, the fan is spinning up. It's nice and quiet. Before it used to have this really crazy rattling sound and that's gone now and it's functioning. It's blowing the right way. Uh, I have, an, I have a, another case fan that this uh, mic gave me. It's for free. It's not a pretty fan, but it's a 92 millimeter fan and it's blowing nice. It's nice and cool. And let's take a look inside. So the next thing is the heat sink um, that needs to go on. Uh, there's no fan on it right now. There are some breaks in the uh, heat sink fan mounting, the heat sink area. Um, so that had to be epoxied on. I didn't actually do the epoxying myself, but I did have to uh, file it down. Uh, when I bought it, it was epoxied on and it seems to look okay. I'm going to try to tighten it down and see how it is. So I had to put some uh, thermal paste down. So there's my little glob of thermal paste, about a rice to a pea size or so. It's a bit bigger, but and I'm going to push this uh, heat sink down and uh, tighten it up. Alright, the heat sink fan is going to go on right about here. The screws all lined up. And this is a screw in type. I'm going to screw in a little bit at a time. So, it's kind of like a car tire, you don't want to tighten up one side too much. Okay, so there's the uh, fan spinning up, and that is the new G lid fan that I put in. And you know how much that cost? It costs all of two dollars, and I got it on sale at Canada Computers. Uh, great, 92-inch fan. Um, I'm not going to say it's really quiet, but it's uh, one of their silent fans, and it's doing a good job. All right, there's the MDG computer, really, really, really cheap, and again, twenty dollars with a two dollar and eighty-eight cent fan that I put on the CPU. Um, it came in pieces, so I just had to put it together. Um, let's see here. And it's running uh, E2140, dual core, and uh, two half gig um, DDR2 RAM. So that's one gig total. And that's it.
All right. So I just want made this video. I'd like to show you. This is the uh, video that you're watching being made, or it was made on open shot. And you can see it's running pretty flawlessly. The, the audio and video are matching up really well. Um, and again, this computer is only $20. Uh, bought off Kijiji. It was in parts, but you just had to put it together. Uh, it's a very low powered, uh, low speed dual core. Um, E2140, again, that's 1.6 gigahertz and only running one gigabyte of RAM. And you can see that you don't need something fancy to you know work on things like this um, you know everything's the operating system's free I'm running Ubuntu uh, the 12.04 LTS um, that operating system's free you can see on the icons on the left I got the Word Excel version PowerPoint version um, and like I said this video editor open shots and all free